perfect. Ah, what a wonderful day. The sun's bright and wait, what is that? What is that? <gasps> is that Bank Iron Goku? Huh? Hey, yo! <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's your boy Senkai. How's it going, Sen Gang? And yes, sir, today we'll be talking about the new Bank Iron Goku that is kind of confirmed, semi confirmed to come out. So, uh, yeah, you know, we'll be talking about that and basically a lot of other things that I'll inform you guys in this video. But before we go ahead and start this video, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit that sub button if you are new to this channel, and turn on post notifications so you know whenever I post. Go ahead and join my Discord if you want to talk to my community and stuff. And you already know, Bankai Ren Goku probably confirmed, and I will be uh, showing some proof and stuff like that. So, hope you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get straight into the topic. Alright guys, so you already know I made a video uh, just a few days ago, and that was titled, The New Ren Goku's Coming to Date. And I, I forgot to like basically show uh, a proof of evidence, right? And I do have that now in this video. And basically, it is kind of like saying that oh, Sartre Ren Goku will come out, but Bankai Ren Goku is also going to come out. So, both of those Ren Gokus are basically confirmed, because as you guys can see on the the screen right now i have a tweet from rel games himself and what it says is that uh right here i wrote short i wrote the short stories on deva forged bankai satori and shindai events i don't know how i don't know how people enjoy them as much so basically like uh these events are basically what makes sure what make you get the bloodline so yeah you guys already know that deva has a bloodline which is deva and goku forge has a bloodline which is forge and goku and shindari goku also has the bloodline stuff and you both get that from a lot of events now he does uh, state that bankai and satori are also in the event thing so there will be a probably a live event for them which means that we will be able to attack them it'll be a boss drop like usual it'll be like the rest of um the other bloodline so we have forged uh rengoku which is one out of 13 we also have shindai rengoku uh, which is one out of 25 and we have deva rengoku so all these it'll be like that it'll be um bankai rengoku and Sato rengoku so they will have a rarity within a uh, 1 to 13 to or 1 and 13 to 1 to 25 so it's basically the same as that and if you guys look at the video from before like with the gunslinger and the apartments you guys can see a little sneak peek that rel was trying to show you guys when he turned around and i'll put that on screen right now it is basically him having Sautori Rengoku eyes now as you see look closely they're either Sautori uh, Rengoku or Bankai Rengoku because they're basically kind of combined because of the design you know if you go to Bankai Akuma uh the design is like mixed with Sautori something like that right but my point is that although it's Sautori Rengoku that means it's confirmed that it's going to come therefore Bankai Rengoku will stand and it will come uh because it's going to be the only bloodline left out if it doesn't come uh, that it's going to be uh, uh, Bankai Akuma only. And now the reason, I don't know why they're giving uh, Satori a Rengoku. Just like usual guys, like I said that in my last video before, uh, the, the one I posted a few days ago. But... All, uh, all the Akumas are basically getting a bloodline now because, uh, you know, they're outdated. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is, um, no one basically uses it anymore. I barely see anyone using it. And it's just that they're going to give it for a buff. Uh, it won't probably, it probably is, like, not canon. So it's made up moves from Rel Games. Because, obviously, if you guys know, the people in the show do not have the Renegon or unlock it ever in their life. At one point, it's just Magikyo Sharingan. So not even Eternal Magikyo Sharingan. So it's just basically Magikyo Sharingan. Um, not too much. And I honestly think that is kind of a good idea because no one uses Bloodlines, guys. It has to be par on par with the other Rengokus. And th those th those two are the only Reng uh, Akumas that are left out. Uh, except for Sarachi Akuma. And I feel like Rel Games is waiting until the end of Baruto for that. Because they want to make sure that it's uh, they release a Bloodline for her, you know, Ren Renegon if she ever gets one uh, accurately. But for now, you know, Itachi and, and um, Shisui are dead. Uh, sorry for you guys, if spoilers. So they're just go ahead and add on the Rengokus. And I was just saying about the picture, guys. They do that. It is the Satori and Goku in his eyes. If you guys zoom in a little closer, you guys can see it. And that means Bankai Rengoku is going to come soon. And hopefully it does because uh, Tachi is one of my favorite uh, Katsuki members, Uchiha members. So hopefully I get to see his moves here. Hopefully it'll be OP because I already know Riser Kuma and Bankai Kuma here are OP. It's that nobody uses them because there are like way more better OP uh, bloodlines in the game. And they keep on coming. Like the more bloodlines there are, the more better. I don't know. Just a ton of bloodlines just coming out for everyone. But. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you guys think that they will release Bankai Rengoku or Satori Rengoku, let me know. If you guys don't think it is or it's just like a developer-only uh, bloodline for them because um, 
you know, obviously he uh, Rel Games would have pointed out something if you know it happened. Like obviously, oh look at that, look guys, look at my eyes. We guys look at my eyes. It sh it shows the Satoru and Goku, but he's just leaving it there for show. Uh, he made the uh, the people find out, so we never know, man. Um, if you guys think so, let me know uh, down below in the comments. And everyone, go ahead and write down your comments or your like you know thoughts on it because I honestly think that if they add it, it'll be pretty nice because we get another live event or boss fight, and we'll get to see you know the new the Bankai Akuma in his new form in play as well as Satoru uh akuma in this new form because we like i said i doubt any of us see anywhere any more people using those bloodlines because they probably dead like nobody uses them i wanna i wanna see i wanna see people use it now because honestly people don't use it as much as they did before and the akumas all the akumas are basically unknown i used to use that i used to, I used to love getting akumas at the start uh when i used to play like it was my dream to get akuma but now it's just all these op bloodlines all the way at the bottom ryuji kenichi um, Baramaki, Mikaze, all these buttons are just broken. But yeah, guys, that was all for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, everyone put your thoughts down below in the comments if you guys think it's coming out. Um, it's pretty nice. And with we only have like two pieces of evidence right now, but I guess that is enough because obviously one was in game and one was just a tweet. So I guess the one in game is basically enough to, uh, you know, uh, I guess believe. So. I believe it. I don't know if you guys believe it, but let me know if you do. But that was all for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Send guy out. Peace out, send gang, and have a good day slash night. Stay classy. Never forget, Bankai is forever.